to him that dwelleth between the cherubims the alpha and the omega the ancient of days the rose of Sharon Jehovah Elroy the God who sees we give you all the praise we give you all the glory we thank you for your praise we thank you we thank you Bless you, our Father. Teach us your ways. Teach us your truth. I ask that there be myriads of encounters in your presence. That you will touch and bless every life for coming tonight. I pray and ask my Father to as many that have come with any form of health challenge, any form of burden in their heart, any form of desires in their heart, whatever it might be, I pray that they will receive your touch tonight. They will receive your answers tonight. They will receive solution at your feet tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Second Chronicles 26, 13 to 15. The Bible says, And Uzziah prepared for them throughout all the land shields and spears and helmets and abenjons and bows and slings to cast nesvers. And he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks shoot arrows and the emphasis is the last phrase for he was what marvelously helped by God you know sometimes we can get to look at certain great men in life and begin to think that it is possible to achieve such greatness outside of God now look at the way the scripture started the 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 the, the, the the statement the scripture never told us first that he was helped by God what the scripture started was his accomplishment then at the ending it now told us why he accomplished those things because he was what marvelously helped so anytime you see a great man or a graceful man behind such a man a quantity and quality of help you know, when we talk of quantity, we are talking in terms of number. When we talk of quality, we are talking in terms of what? The countenance of the help. Because there is what we call men in a man. One time they wanted to roof the building of um, um, Redemption Camp, the current site. And Papa was in the um, pulpit preaching. And while he was preaching, he said, we would like people to make pledges in billions for the roofing. 26 billion was needed. And right while he was still talking, he got a note on the pulpit. And written in the note, a man said, Sir, continue to your preaching. I am taking care of it. 26 billion. That is not a man. That is a man. So there are men, there are men, there are boys. There are even kids. If you still put two five nerans offering you a kid. Behind every graceful man behind every successful man a quantity of help arranged around his life even what we call favor are packaged in form of help if you will have struggles if you will avoid delay in life you must be humanly and divinely assisted help is the ingredient needed for a colorful life if you will amount to anything you will attain enviable speed. You must be humanly and divinely assisted. You can't. Somebody come. Try to carry yourself. So it means God has not fashioned, configured, structured life in such a way that a man can of himself assist himself. He must of necessity need the help of another. 
That's how this life is structured. Sit down. That's how this life is configured. So when I see a man with a challenging speed, an unprecedented dimension of speed, I know behind such a speed are various kinds of assistance. The Bible says he became what he was because he was not just helped. That's why I say there is the quantity of help and the quality of it. He was what marvelously helped. Even Jesus, in his sojourn on earth, couldn't survive without helpers. He had angels helping him. Even after the temptation, the angels came to strengthen him. He had men, not man, men. Was Joseph of Arimathea Jesus' cousin? How come he was so confident enough to walk to um, Pilate and say, give me the body? Something the 12 apostles combined together with anointing could not achieve. That's why we talk of quantity. Because some of you are called into the ministry and all your friends, they are only pastors. There's no problem. You share scriptures. You need the verightedness of helpers. The Bible speaking, they told me, Moses was praying for the guy called Reuben. He said, oh God, let Reuben not die. Let his men not be few. It means the moment you have fewer men around your life, you begin to experience death. Because every man is divinely and humanly assisted. Paul said, Aquila, my helper in Christ. Aquila, my helper in Christ. No vision can be achieved without divine and human assistance. Yes, it is true. The Bible is speaking in Proverbs that where there is no vision, the people perish. Permit me to say where there are no people, the vision also perish. It is not actualized by spirits or animals, but by mortal men kept upon the earth to actualize that man determination. Why? The heavens belong to God, but the earth he has given to what? The sons of men. Is, do you know, even in the fulfillment of divine mandates, the agenda of God's kingdom, without God, man cannot, but without man, God would not. I didn't say God cannot. He would not. Because it is going against his divine policy. That's why we pray to give permission for heavenly interference in earthly affairs. That's why we pray. Why? He can't just show up. No, he has given the earth as a lease to man. He can't just show up. Except a man gives him permission to come. Why do you think God is going all about saving people? Why? We make altar calls, people begin to give their life to Christ. Why is God after that just to make heaven? No, He needs their body to actualize His mission on earth. He needs them. Very quickly, 10 types of help you need for a successful life. Are we getting blessed tonight? I said the ingredient you need for success are helps. Even what you call favor what you call a miracle are packaged in form of help assistance rendered to you you look at it and you call it what? favor 10 type of help needed for a successful life, number one I give us number one and two they are all embedded into one divine help divine help the first part of this is the help we receive from God and the Holy Spirit. As you journey through life, as you gain some levels of experience, you come to a point you realize that there are certain things only God can do. I'm serious. I've been there. <laughs> Matthew, quickly, quickly, 15, 25. Then came she and worshipped him. Now, this is a woman who had a daughter, she's called a sign of fish and woman in scripture, and the daughter was vexed with the devil. She came to Jesus, having tried all she could, and told him, Master, please help me, my daughter. The Bible says Jesus looked at her and didn't pay attention to her. As she kept pressing on and pressing on, he decided to give her a very terrible attention. He looked at her and said, I can't give the meat meant for the children to the dogs. Now look at what the scripture says. And she what? Worshipped him. 
<laughs> Next verse. Say, Lord, help me. And he answered and said, Gadath. Lord, what? Help. Divine help. Have you gotten to that point in your life where you look at what you are going through? And all you could say, Thou son of David, help me. Sometimes alone in my room, scream like that. Thou son of David, help me. You know, we've gotten to a point where we've given God names he didn't call himself. There are names we found out from scripture that he was identified with. But we've born, you know, gotten some kind of lexicons and English and languages that even God is struggling to understand. But there are names in scripture. When they call him that way, he responded to them instantly. Help me. Rise up to your feet and pray this one prayer tonight. What is that situation? Maybe family wise, personal wise. Say, Lord, help me. Can you turn that to prayer? Help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Sit down. Give me Mark 9.22. 9.22. And he come to Bethesda. Okay. And awful times he had cast himself into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us. And what? Help us. <laughs> Don't be ashamed to cry for help. Don't be ashamed to cry for help. See, there is nothing spiritual about, you know, when you are in a challenge and a situation because people are all around you and instead of you to begin to humble yourself before his presence and cry like a baby, you just begin to form some spiritual posture. <laughs> there is anointed about that. If you need to cry, cry. Help me, O oh God! I'm teaching you what I do in the secret. Help me. Help me. The Bible says, a broken and a contrite heart he will not despise. Second Chronicles 31. Second Chronicles 18, 31. And came to pass when the captains of the chariot of Jehovah did this. They compassed about him to fight. But Jehoshaphat cried out and the Lord what? Helped him. <laughs> did you see that? He went to battle disguised. Unfortunately, they still didn't fight him. And when they saw him, because if you take the king, the people are over. Everybody compassed about him. And the Bible says he what? He cried out to God, help me. And God turned away the attention from him. Do you have people disturbing your life? Do you have people disturbing your destiny? Cry out. Oh God, help me. You've done all you can, humanly possible. I've been in these conditions like this. And I cry out, help me. And suddenly, he occupies them with a situation that they don't have time for me again. <laughs> you know, there are funny ways God answers your prayers. Sometimes he gives your enemies problem that they don't even have attention enough to solve before the women have attention to give to you. Help me. Give me First Chronicles 5.20. And they were helped against them. And the Agarites were delivered into what? Their hands. What people saw in that battle were men fighting. But who was doing the, the war? God. That's why you can look at a man and say he's hard working, he's very smart, he's very intelligent. Till you see a graduate without a job, first class graduates. 
till you see a PHO that's selling a chart card then you know like Ecclesiastes 9 11 will say this race is not for the sweetness the battle is not to the strongest good things does not always happen to those of intelligence it is a function of if God choose to show you mercy lift up your hands and say Lord show me mercy the second type of help under the divine help is angelic assistance angelic assistance Matthew 4 11 Matthew 4 11 Luke 22 48 Matthew 4 11 he said then the devil lived him and behold angels came and what ministered to him give me Luke 43 and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven doing what strengthening him <laughs> supply that comes from above they appear to him angels what strengthening him you need angelic assistance some few days ago night I just saw a message on my phone one of my daughters sent me a message so 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 and so so and she's married and this is a terrible situation very simple I just sent her a message everything is settled now I knelt down close to my bed I said angels of God I pray for rescue engage your help I summon your activities now and that was all you they traveled down to Quara State to do what I said. The Bible says in Hebrew, are they not ministering spirits sent to help to assist the heads of salvation? They, how many of you have had an encounter with an angel before that dealt with you? If you've not, look for my trouble. I will send one to your direction. Make use of angelic assistance. They are meant for you. You just wrote an exam right now. You made a mistake. Angels of God. Go right now and pick my script. These are men that don't need permissions of your lecturers. They don't need key to open your exam rooms. They can disappear and appear at will. They can touch anything mortal with your hands and change what they want to change. How come you have so much of advantage you don't use them? How come? Are they not what? ministry spirit sent to the heads of salvation number two the second type of help you need for a successful life is prophetic help prophetic help these are help empowerment released via pronouncements by custodians of the blessing these are what helps and empowerment released via pronouncement by custodians of the blessings. The Bible said, and God blessed them by saying, be fruitful and what? Multiply. So it means the sayings of God are the careers of his blessings. So when you come to services and words are pronounced upon you, what you are receiving are prophetic help. The saints of God are the containers of his blessings. And God blessed them by saying. He didn't give them a business. He didn't give them money. But he blessed them by saying. Genesis 27, 27 to 35. The Bible says, And Isaac was allowed to depart from the earth and he called upon his son Esau. I said, get me venison that I may bless you. And now what not a fridge that makes her all going to that. But my emphasis is this. After Jacob manipulated the situation through the help and the assistance of his mother. I pray for you. May God position people that will hear on your behalf. Do you know Jacob was not there? The, look at how the Bible put it. He said, and Rebecca heard for him. The only reason she was there at that point in time. Yeah, for Jacob. Rebecca had for him any information that will catapult you into destiny any information that will advance the course of your life any information that will put you into your throne in life I declare and I declare may God position men to hear on your behalf may God position men to hear on your behalf in the name of Jesus 
the saints of God and that of his anointed are the carriers of the blessing in Genesis 27 from verse 27 to 35 look at what Isaac said over Jacob he said nations will serve you I satisfy you give me that scripture if you can with plenty of corn and wine yet he never gave him any bag if it was so terrible that the only thing he left there was, was, was the set he was on because when he got an encounter in Bethel he had to use a stone as a pillow he didn't have an extra shirt yet the father is saying I satisfy you <laughs> I wish you understand the mystery of the prophetic blessing I satisfy you with corn and wine yet he gave him nothing I've had people I say come sometimes I feel the anointing like a torrent and a current upon me and I say come I give you and they just shake me yeah man I said oh oh you missed it you missed it you missed it Ezra Ezra let me show you something Ezra chapter from verse 4 to 5 now the Bible says in their post post exit exile why they were about to rebuild the temple the Bible says the people of the land begin to say things that wearied their hands are we there Ezra 4 5 their hands were weak and wearied give me chapter 5 verse 2 Ezra 5 verse 2 now look at what the Bible says I'm just picking a down phrase he said the prophets were there their hands were tired their hands were wearied because of the sins of the people the attacks of the people look at what the Bible says he said they made up their mind to start again and this time around they knew they needed some kind of assistance and what were those assistants? prophets who were there to what? help them by prophesying that was their job this house you start to build you will complete it it will stop halfway all the resources you need but time keeps coming even when the attack comes it sees the word it sees the blessing see you need prophetic assistance Job chapter 29 from verse 1 to 13 Job begin to talk about his sojourn on the earth he said oh I wish I was in the days where the secrets of God was upon my tabernacle where by light I walked through darkness those that saw me gave way at my speech they withhold their hands in verse 13 he told us the secret he said the blessings of the dead came upon me there was a pronouncement by one in the capacity to make such pronouncement of see some of us are surviving by words we are surviving not by strength but by words there are words upon our life that you can't fail you can't go down we are surviving by words now hear me the funny thing about the prophetic help is that you can't buy it the bible said the gift of god are freely given we don't sell them is that not so but what you do is to make an offer are we following you know when you see a building that you like right you make an offer right and when they accept you put a seal a sealed document so we call it offering you understand just like you give a girl you want to marry that's your offering your offering do, do you understand what i'm saying are you confused no you are not the way you are looking at me are we following so in that point if you want to get a prophetic help you must be willing to prepare venison for those in the capacity to release such words it doesn't come by chance something must happen to the heart you know some of you have said i followed certain great men and pursued them pursued their blessing yeah the bible says if you receive a prophet in the name of the prophet you get the prophet reward yeah he didn't say you get the prophet gifts you get his reward it means he labored for it do, do you understand so when you want to get what he carries the bible says even if you will give a cup of water if that is what he needs at that point in time because if i don't need water you give me water it doesn't move me some of you the problem why you are complaining and thinking these things don't work is because you have sown enough of seeds is that not so some of you have brought different of seeds to my office 10 naira, 5 naira, 100 naira, whatever kind of seeds 1,000, 1 million if you can and the blessing has been released but it's not working for you 
You know, one time I was asking God, I said, Lord, why is it that people, some, have you seen people give you some certain things you are moved? You are challenged? You, you know, you can't, you, can't, you can't hold yourself again. And you release the blessing upon them, yet it seems not to work. And God said, wait, till they tell you what they give their girlfriend. You are the one getting moved. Wait, let them tell you what they gave their girlfriend. You now know that the girlfriend was supposed to release the blessing. <laughs> Number three, global help. Global help. This is the kind of help to enjoy from all men, cutting across every tribe, every tongue, every race, even every religion. One time, one of our father in the faith, he was talking to me. He said, he said one time he came to the filling station to get fuel, and I, a Muslim man just wind down. I looked at him. I said, it's not you I used to see on TV. He said, yes. He said, I don't like you. This is your fire, 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 fire. I don't like it. But I just like the things you do. He said, should I give you something? He was still looking at the man. The man carried the viral, wrote a check. You know how much? 100 million. And when he saw it, because he, the man said, you used to appear to him in his dream. He now said, ah, should I pray for you? He said, no, don't pray before you appear again. Don't pray. 100 million. From a Muslim. That's what we call global help. It cuts across boundaries, religion, race, tribe, tongue. Job 42. Job 42, verse 2 to 12. The Bible says the way God restored the story of Job that made his latter greater than his former was that every man what gave to him. Every man gave to him. For first Kings chapter 10, 23 to 25. The secret to Solomon's wealth were said there. The Bible says, year by year, rate by rate, every man gave him gold. Did you see that? First Kings 10, 23, 25. Year by year, every man. They didn't say some men. They didn't say only Israelites. Every what? Man. I pray for you. From this moment, starting from this season, may you begin to enjoy global help. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. Number four. Daily help. Daily help. First Corinthians 12, 22. Okay. At that time, men came. What time? Day by day. To what? David until they were a great army day by day not you enjoy favor today till next year day by day are we together if you have not recorded a miracle or a favor in your life or maybe it's been a long while you recorded such by the vantage point of this meeting don't wait till people begin to fall down under the anointing I said the saints of God are the careers of the blessing I prefer you pick a prophetic word that you just begin to break my chairs they are very expensive and I told them I said one of the things we'll begin to do now maybe from the next semester I said you break chairs I'll mark you when you are done they tell you the cost so you break two chairs four five <laughs> should I show you something I'm trying not to digress give Psalm 72 Psalm 72 10 to 15. Let me show you something. Psalm chapter 70. Now watch. This is David praying for the king that will succeed him. He said, may the king of Tashish and the coast and Island bring tribute. The king of Sheba and Sheba offer gifts. If you keep reading that to 15, this was almost 40 years. Then Solomon became king. Who came to visit him? Sheba. If you have not understand the mystery of prophetic help, I have been there. It works like magic. When everything else fails, that word on your life can still stand and defend you. I've told you one of the things that lasts longer in the atmosphere are words. When they were crucifying Jesus, they said, crucify him. Said, are you sure? Should we not release, should we release this um, criminal and leave this? They say yes. Let his blood be on us and our children. One day, six million Jews were killed. One day. After over a hundred and thousand years. <laughs> you know the Holocaust. One day. Say, let it be on us. <laughs> let it be on us. 
words last. That's why one of the very good things you can send into your destiny ahead of you are words. Daily help. Daily help. Rise up to your feet. Let's stop. Because of our exams, we'll continue some other time. Some other time. <laughs> Give me Second Kings 27 to 30. Second Kings 25, 27 to 30. If it's not daily, it's deadly. <laughs> Second Kings 25. Now look up. Let's read the scripture together. Second Kings 25, 27 to 30. Now, on the 27th day of the 12th month of the 37th year of the exile of Judah's king, Jehoiakim, evil Merokad, king of Babylon, in the year that he became king, Patton King Jehoiakim of Judah and released him from where? Prison. Next verse. He spoke kindly to him and set his throne over the thrones of the king who were with him in Babylon. Next verse. Look up now. So Jehoiakim changed his prison clothes and he dined regularly in the presence of the king of Babylon for the rest of his what? Regularly. Next verse. As for his allowance, May your allowing not be monthly. As for his allowance, some of us sleep three nights and wake up with alerts. Some of you is once in a black moon, not blue. As for his allowance, somebody shout allowee. If you are a copper, you understand that better regular allowance was given to him by the king a portion for each day for the rest of his life listen if you don't enjoy favor daily something is wrong how do I know Psalm 68 is it 68 verse 18 now 69 verse 18 he said blessed be God who daily loads us with benefit so in the midst of each day there is a portion for you that's how I pray every day. Lord, your portion for me today. Let it not pass me by. Daily help. Daily help. Daily help. <laughs> now, one of the prayer we will pray tonight, one of the prayer, we will talk about that, how you can position yourself to enjoy this 10 help. I'm telling you, everything you see about the life of a man, ministry, organization is surrounded by this 10 help. You trace it, they enjoy it. If they enjoy night one missing, there's a height they can never get to. Because each of those help has their place. The Bible says, and the king, Zazes, said, because of the program he was having, he wanted his wife Vashti to come and display her beauty in the front of the people. And the Bible says, Vashti refused. And the king was sad. Then there was a man who was the personal assistant to the king called Memukan. He said, oh king. The king never said anything. But he gave a suggestion. He said, let this woman leave her throne. For our wives will not be respecting us again. Sometimes one of the reasons you might have limited help in life is that somebody is saying something. Are we together? That's why the Bible says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises, tongues, somebody is saying something to your helpers. Do you know the number of people that will have been in this meeting tonight? That will have been in this place, if not for what they heard, what somebody said to them, said something. That's why David prayed the prayer. He said, Oh God, turn the counsel of Ahitopeh. One prayer I pray every day. Lord, whoever is speaking negatively about me, useless their words before us. Kill their value. The only reason why people will listen to them is because people can give them a little sense of value. Make them useless before us. So when they talk, let's always say, who is this madman talking? Because you think he's not influential? <laughs> If you feel it's not necessary, if you feel it's nothing, I know who I am. I know the kind of grace I carry on my head. <laughs> Ask God what was happening 
right in his presence inside the throne of heaven what did they say to one third of the angels that made them follow him he said no it doesn't matter no. to the extent God said no me and you can't share the same place go before you carry everybody's self people <laughs> there are some people that are anointed to destroy it's their calling anointed sometimes I wonder what you choose to benefit if you decide to bring me down you decide to bring the ministry down look at the lives gather here tonight don't you think like that Why you choose? you're after a man and then suddenly you become unreasonable imagine the number of people tonight don't you think when you sit down you bring down someone you finish them how do you go to sleep how do you sleep and some of you <laughs> you know <laughs> the bible says david met a woman day one he had the anointing of samson you know the bible says and samson went into uh, one verse uh, at least jacob one was even is it jacob joseph it was almost three chapters and yet he succeeded he didn't sleep with <laughs> but he fell about samson is one verse he saw a woman in timnath and entered into her and slept <laughs> May your life not be summarized like that. <laughs> Are we following? Like my friend said, the Bible says, free every appearance of evil. What it means is that you don't need to be sure that it is evil. Once it looks like it, <laughs> once it carries its resemblance, just run. Are we together? Lift up your hands and pray tonight. Look up. The Bible says, David slept with her, Bathsheba. She became pregnant. Is that not so? And sent a message through the man, Uriah, that he should be dealt with. He should be killed. And you know one of the ways they killed him? He said, take him to where the battle is hot and withdraw from him. That's how some of you are. You push your leader to a point. Who, the, ah, who will come for the answer? I won. Then immediately he set the date. You are the one that even suggested the time. I know they go all in hand today. That's how you you push him to that point. Then you withdraw, just because you want to see his downfall. The Bible is speaking in Ephesians, is it Ephesians six verse eight or so. He said, "What you make happen for others, God in heaven, we make happen for you. Not just that we, but full measure, press and they will push his side to our space, and then top it again. Don't you think of your future?" Don't you think of your children? Thinking about help. How have you assisted others? Or instead you have brought people down? How? And David began to pray for many days. Seven days so that the child will be saved. <laughs> you came and talked to some few people now in the service. And told them grace is nonsense. They don't even used to preach Bible there. They used Quran. And then you are able to carry seven and you founded a group and your prayer every day is, oh God, let it stand. <laughs> seven days. <laughs> you just kill somebody, slept with the wife, you are praying, fasting for seven days. What do, you go, what do you used to hear when you do that kind of prayers? I pray for you, you miss it in destiny. Lift up your pray. Whoever is speaking, that is causing me to lose favor, causing me to be hated, causing my family to be hated, causing my family to lose favor. Oh God, let your vengeance rest on them. Let your vengeance rest. Lift up your voice and pray. Bible says, no weapon fashion against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment. What will happen? He didn't say God should condemn. He said you will do the word condemnation. 
you applied for a job in a screening committee of 10 people they are looking at documents one person just toast to hate you and say this guy is nonsense throw away his document <laughs> that's all though. when your village at work somebody calls it foundational problem <laughs> I'm telling you how some things happen manipulations I want you to pray that prayer again oh God whoever is speaking whoever that is, is speaking, causing me to lose help that is and favor in life and oh in God life. visit your judgment. Raise your voice with your judgment. Visit them 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 with your judgment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One time, one of my daughter, about two, two, three years now, yeah, three years now, she's currently in Germany, was inviting a lady in the hostel for service. And I said to her, I said, ah, I learned that your pastor is single. She said, yes. He said, they told me that that is the reason ladies used to play plenty in church. <laughs> and then my daughter asked her, have you ever been to the service? No. How do you know? Do you know, since the history of Grace Realm attendance, has ladies ever been more than guys? Never. Look at what they said. Though. When I heard it, I laughed. I laughed. I laughed. Because it's not the first time I've heard those kind of things. I laughed. One time I heard a story. They say a young man came to me and he said, Somebody told him, Don't come to that place. So don't come. They don't used to share the word of God. So I had to go to my office to check whether it's Quran. They, get, they sold me. And you know, I had to pick my Bible to check. You, you need to be sure sometimes. You don't just throw away. <laughs> You're wondering. People. Human beasts. People. If the Bible tells that the heart of man is desperately wicked, even God Himself knows that their heart is desperately wicked. Jer Jeremiah 5, verse 25. Give me that scripture. He said, Among my people, there are wicked men who lie in wait to catch men. Wicked men. Do you know there's a young man? Somebody came and told me. He said, he, he wanted to come to the service for some time. And the young man has been discouraging him. Don't come, don't come. Do you know this young man is so close to me that if he sees me here now, he will lie down on this ground. Door. That's how he greets me. Papa, sir. <laughs> That's like some of you can be lying, but you are standing in your heart. <laughs> so sometimes when you see me smiling at you, I'm just. <laughs> are we together? And you didn't come because you want to fight a man, you didn't consider the life what God wants to do in the life of that person you were not interested all you are after is to let me fight this thing down if you touch a grace it will disgrace you not everybody is fightable you can't fight every <laughs> not everybody is what fightable the least I will do is ever to talk about your matter are we together God has structured it that we have things that fight I told you one time while I was in the campus, I was receiving lecture in LT3, chemical engineering LT, and we are having a course called polymer science level. Suddenly the screen disappeared. And I saw on the screen three, three of my friends in Boso. They were talking against me. They were saying certain things. And then the screen came back. I started seeing my course. When they came back from Boso, I told them, I said, three of you just went to Boso. That was your assignment today to discuss about me. I said, there's no problem. More. I won't say anything. God said to me, he said, I will make him carry a course over for the next three years. I personally, I stand before the God who called me. I personally, he's correctly out of this country. I personally was for the issue. God said, I will not hear you. This punishment will serve. He came and apologized. I was begging. Oh God, please. Please show mercy. God said, no, it has nothing to do with you. 
when I call a man, I position around him structures and systems to fight for him. Sometimes those men can be calm, but their systems are terrible. Especially people that seem to be gentle. <laughs> you see, they don't used to talk. They'll just be quiet. When you look for their trouble, they'll just be smiling at you. Ask stories first now. Ask stories. Some few years ago, a young lady came to me and she says, I needed to see you. I came out. I said, what's the problem? She said, no, I just came out from break. I wanted to give you something. She gave me a fruit. I was so busy on the system doing something. I took it to the, uh, to the, to the hostel and dropped. In less than 30 minutes, they call me. She's mad because the fruit was poisoned. I turned and the fruit is rotten. So that's what they will say now. They are looking for what is wrong with me. They can't see it. See, that I'm not carrying security. Don't think I'm alone. No. It's not everybody that is... Why, 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 why? Don't think that way. Lift up your hands and pray this prayer finally. Lord, surround. Are we head of? We said divine help, right? And divine help, we say help from God or the Holy Spirit and help from what? Angels. And we talked about what again? Huh? Prophetic help. What's the next one? Huh? Global help. And what's the last one we stopped at today? Daily help. Daily help. We'll do 10 of each. We're just in four. I want you to pray this prayer. Time is against us. Lord, surround my life. I said, how you know a great man and a blessed man is by the quality and the quantity of help around his life. Surround my life with all kinds of your help. Help on every side. Help from every side. Listen, like Peter will say in scriptures, we've not followed after for cunningly devised fables of the word of God we have heard. We have preached and our hands have handled. A young man called me about two or three years now and said to me, Sir, I searched through your social media platform. I saw your number. I, I don't know why I came across your message on Facebook. I just saw your message to it and it changed my life. And God said from today, Give him monthly feeding money. I have never met him in my life. I stand before God. I don't know the person. I think the last time we spoke is that last time he called me to tell me that. That's why I say sometimes more quantity is quality. Because some of you, all you will do is headache, headache. Headache. That's what you give me, headache. I have not met him. So I'm angry. I need to see Papa for two hours. I'm, I'm finding it difficult. I've not seen him. Monthly. Because I made a vow, I say, Lord, I will not live by a salary. No. Because if the people know you live by a salary, hey, hey, their title offering will be 225 Naira, 225 Naira, Mutala, Mutala, Shonikon, Shonikon, Tafawa Baleo, all those. <laughs> so that they will, they will see how pastor, they will pay me salary this one. <laughs> While I was coming for the service, as I just, to the mirror, I just saw, no, no, I picked my phone. I just saw a, a small 20,000 Naira. Just something small. Maybe it's on my TP to come down. No God pays me my salary anyhow. Sometimes it gives me transport allowance. Wardrobe allowance. I'm like a senator. <laughs> it depends on the kind of allowance you are collecting. I pray for you. I said all of these things to make you know that this word we talk about, this gospel we preach, it's real. It works. It works. When we continue the message, I will teach us how to activate these things. How to make them work. There are keys. There are procedures. There are protocols. There are protocols. How to make them work. While I was sleeping yesterday night, I was just thinking, I said, oh, I need to get down to Nasrawa. There's a man I need to see. He appeared to me in the vision. And God said, the reason why I showed you this face is that you have to give him a and let him speak a blessing. So I'm already organizing my trip down there. And he just clocked 60. The season he entered into in his face of life. 
there is a word I need you to get from his mouth. The power, the saints of God and his anointed are the carriers of the blessing. Everything about the anointed, everything about God are speech. Speaking spirits, that's what he calls them. Speaking spirits. Why am I saying this? So that the next time you come across one in the capacity to release a blessing, even if you say, God bless you, know what you collected. Know what you collected. A daughter of mine one time, during her IT, she finished her IT in, um, which state was that? Adam our state. And so while she was coming, where she worked in the IT, she's currently married in Lagos, where she worked was, I think, the Faro Waters or so, one company owned by Atiku. While she returned back from the um, IT, she came to my office with a carton of the water. If I summarize everything in that water, it should not be more than 5,000 or 4,000. Listen, just speak the lesson. And I was challenged. Because if you need to travel from Adamawa to, from Mina to Adamawa, it's a two days journey. You can't only smoke a, a one trip. You have to sleep maybe in Joss or somewhere and continue the next day. As I looked at the pain, I looked at the pain. Not the cost, the pain. What length of honor is this? I said, can't you buy it in me now? Why did you do yourself like this? She said, no, Papa, I wanted you to feel honor. I said, kneel down. I settle you in life. I said, your marriage is here, except you choose to postpone it. In four months' time now, four months' time. Just call me. <laughs> Papa, Papa. It came. You know, there are people you pray from the bottom of your ass, some from the top. It came from both the bottom and the top of the house. One time, one of my daughter came to the office during her bad day. And she got me there and I was very used to Olonia. Now I'm done. I've tasted all their, all their flavors. So I'm done at this level. There's no type of Olandia I've not drank. So she brought Olandia and a little something to my office. And she said, Papa, pray for me. Now I saw the pain because I knew the season she was in that period. I saw the pain. The stretch she had to go to to get that done. And I asked her, smiling, you know, no matter where, I'll just be laughing at you. I said, what do you want me to, to pray for you? She said, Papa, I want to go abroad. I said, hey, hey, hey. Because I know the village she come from. It's a very thick village in Ibera land. Something Kuroku or something like that. I said, knee down. International doors open. She's currently in Germany. She's supposed to crisscross about 12 countries all through her master's studies. By a mystery you can't explain. It's the power of those words. And that same word I'm releasing on your life. From this moment, begin to enjoy strange hell. I am praying for you. I am praying for all those following me online across the world. From this moment, begin to enjoy strange hell. Begin to enjoy strange hell. Begin to enjoy strange help. Begin to enjoy strange help. Begin to enjoy strange help. Name of Jesus. One of my daughter did something very sacrificial while she was leaving the campus. And she came to me. And I saw it. I was very pleased. I was happy. I said, Nida, let me bless you. While I laid my hands on her, the word came on my mouth. You know how the Bible says, and the word of God came. And I said to her, mark my word, except I am appointed of this God. You will not beg for a job after school. I didn't say service here. Understand the prophecy. After school, I stand before God who called me. Though some of you know her. Not one day has she not been working. In fact, what she's doing right now, she's working with a radio station, full staff, covering up an NYC. Two salary. Without an NYC certificate. That's how you understand. Full time job. There are people that understand these things. And she knows how to get it. I said, I do this. I pray. I pray. I pray. You don't struggle after school. You don't beg for what to do. And you think they are empty words. Do you know where those words have been cooked? <laughs> I am praying for you. 
anything around your life that has not been working maybe your finances your academics your family your whatever it is your career i decree they begin to work now 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 in the name of jesus finally i pray for you you are here with any form of infirmity diseases sickness of any kind god heals god heals i said to one of my daughters some few weeks ago i said do you know i met you it was true sicknesses I said, when last did you live your life like that? That's when she remembered. It's over. God heals. I pray for you, whatever the sickness or the infirmity might be, may the healing power of God rest on you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare, I declare, may the healing power of God rest upon you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of you that are done with your exams, may you enjoy God's favor. For every I wrote a paper today and we write a paper tomorrow. Except I'm not called of God. I decree those two causes A's. I decree those two causes A's. I decree those two causes A's. I decree them A's. I decree them A's. In the name of Jesus. May you enjoy God's help over your results you didn't answer correctly we are making summons on the angels of God to go right now and correct them for you in the name of Jesus questions you couldn't complete because of time may the angels of God go and complete them for you in the name of Jesus I just hear God say something to me can I say that before we close or I should close let me say it hear my voice by the time the result will be quiet for this semester those of you that have some S mark my, I just hear God say that to me I'm not praying I'm prophesying they will supernaturally disappear now whatever I'm saying to you it's not as if this is the first time it wants to happen have we had this kind of testimonies here? Afterward. Somebody five health disappear. The thing will change itself. Somebody with you see some grade, the GPA will just put up by themselves. It's a possibility. I told you I was challenged one time. I was different session, and a, a young man wrote a jump, and the jump was not out. And when they were delivering the, the sister, or the, is it a sister or a cousin? She was saying they held the jump inside his secret world. I said, ah even on the whole people resort are they jam officials how then take whole lamp <laughs> so it means God can do much more better don't get so used to demonic power that you don't believe the power of God again I am praying as they compile the results for this semester by a mystery you can't explain your CTPA will supernaturally be boosted I decree they will be boosted in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Now hear me. As a proof. As a proof. Between now and Friday. You have a missing result. You check your result online, right? Keep checking between now and Friday. You see testimonies on Friday. You will see. I'm not saying what will even happen again. Some people are saying this. God said do it better. Between now and Friday. You will go back to the site. Log in your details, check the results. You can't see the F's again. Some of you will check the CGP has changed for the better. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and worship Him. Worship Him. How many of you will love to testify on Friday? You want to testify? Now, talk to God about it. Whatever it is you want to testify. I just heard that in my hearing. It will never be the same. I 
have told your grace my life has changed we will never be the same we've told your grace our lives have changed we will never be the same we've told your grace our lives have changed we will never be the same we've told your grace our lives have changed Jesus' name we prayed. I declare, I declare over your desires, over your request, may heaven respond to them. I decree this next seven days a reign of miracles, a week of strange favors, strange favors, strange favors, strange favors. Strange favors. Some of you, you hear, you receive a call. I saw a big contract for one of your parents. You receive a call between now and the next seven days. Something good and big. Something malicious. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand on the testimony of what my son just shared about his mother selling any of you your parent is into businesses and whatever it is i decree and i declare sales they have never made in their life we provoke the angels of god to move right now and cause it to happen in the name of jesus strange order of sales strange order of sales strange order of sales in the name of jesus your siblings trusting God for jobs I pray for those two hearing the sound of my voice like social media platform online I decree you are looking for a job I decree doors of jobs are open 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 in the name of Jesus I pray that every body won't be open in the name of Jesus you are standing the gap for somebody you are hearing me right now online or via this message I command barren wombs to open I command barren wombs to open I command barren wombs to open in the name of Jesus children don't come by just mere sexual intercourse the Bible makes us to understand even in the midst of that that children are a heritage from God. If it is him that gives children for those you are standing in the gap for I declare and I declare may children be released for them. Whatever the devil has done I undo them now. Every yoke, every chain breaks now in the name of Jesus. Thank you our father praying for every one of you standing up for anyone strong in health passing through any form of health challenge or those hearing me right now online I decree and I declare let the angels of healing rest their hands upon you may the healing virtues of God pass through your body now let that pain cease let strength come to your bones come to your marrows come to your ligaments let your blood be healed let your organs be healed Every 40 body organs, I decree a new one now in the name of Jesus. Hearing God said to me, There are many expecting a news. Maybe they've applied for an admission, they've applied for jobs, applied for promotion, applied for scholarships. God of my call, oil of my life. I pray and I decree for those hearing me online, for those right here, everywhere across the nations of the world and those that will listen to the message later, as they hear the sound of my voice, 
I decree the release of those testimonies now. I decree the release of those miracles now. In the name of Jesus. Anyone that has been tied down, any family that has been tied down, I declare and I declare supernatural intervention now. Anyone operating on any form of generational cause, demonic pattern, I decree it broken now. I decree it broken now. I decree it broken now. In the name of Jesus. Maybe all you can always say about your family are issues, 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 situations happening. Because someone said a word. Someone made a pronouncement. Permit me to make my own. Upon your lives, upon your family, I speak a blessing. Upon your life, upon your family, I speak a blessing. Upon your life, upon your family, I decree a blessing. I decree you blessed. I decree your family blessed. In the name of Jesus. You are here under the sound of my voice. Suffering from any form of addiction. I decree it broken now. May such addiction be roasted with fire. May such character that is not of God be roasted with fire. In the name of Jesus. Upon your altars, fresh fire. Upon your devotion life, fresh fire. Upon your study life, fresh fire. Upon your fasting life, fresh fire. Your commitment to the kingdom and the things of God, fresh fire be released. In the name of Jesus. You will love God more. You will grow in your intimacy with God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. If you know beyond all we said tonight, we talked about great type of help. The greatest help you can need right now is the help rendered to you by Jesus when you receive him as your Lord and Savior. For three major reasons. Number one, for the forgiveness of your sin. Number two, like Mike, Dr. Mike Modoc will say, because you want a friend. So have a relationship with and talk to at any point in time. And finally, for the fulfillment of your destiny on earth. You want to make that decision tonight, wherever you are standing with your hands. You are with God, but you know your life is nowhere to write, nothing to write home about. You are gone, far gone. You want to say, Lord, I want a fresh start with you. Fresh fire be released wherever you are. Raise your hands. If you are saying, saying that prayer tonight, I declare and I declare, may the hands of God come strong upon you. Father, receive them as your own. Forgive them of their sin and iniquity. Make them your very own. Release your power upon them to live a life that is pleasing to you. And I decree the grace that keeps a man from falling and present him blameless before you be released upon them all in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening. We trust that you have been blessed. Come and worship with us every Friday at Atmosphere for Grace and every last Friday of the month at Night of Miracles and Supernatural Encounters. Opposite FUT Mina, Gideon Kwano Campus, Mina, Niger State. Come and be blessed.